Well, once again, good morning to everybody here at Toll Cross and now live on the stream right around the world. This is the British Para Swimming International Meet 2014. Allow me to introduce your host. She is the wonderful Kate Gray. You join us here on pool deck on day two at the British Power Swimming International Meet. And once again, I have Paul Noble with me, who's going to take us through what the action we are going to be enjoying today. So what events do we have lined up today, Paul? Well, we start as Fast and Furious, the 50 meters freestyle for the men and for the women. We see a number of record holders in this one. A great field here in Glasgow for these championships. People who have been gold medalists at the Paralympic Games in London and previous Paralympic Games, and they're all trying to vie for position for the European Championships this year and the World Championships right here next year in this pool and toe cross. We start off, as I said, with the 50 freestyle. We have the men's and the women's events to start with. It's going to be very fast. Jessica Long is back in the pool again. She'll be up against Great Britain's Jessica Jane Applegate and Hannah Russell. Big names that you've seen. Of course, you'll also see Ellie Simmons going. Move on to the men's one. We'll see Sasha Kindred back in the pool again in his favourite event of the 200 metres individual medley. A man who's been at the top for 20 years now and he just keeps going. Sasha is absolutely fantastic. And Ellie, of course, will go in the 200 individual medley, arguably her best event. And they've said it's a fast pool, so we can expect some fast swimming, is that right? Well, we've seen it so far. We saw it yesterday on day one. Let's hope we can get more records in the pool today. It's going to be a good session, definitely. Thanks, Paul. Well, you're going to be in the commentary box, so that is what we've got lined up for you. Do not want to go anywhere as the heats are about to take place. Thank you very much, Kate. Welcome and good morning. Uh, a second day, we had a first day that was action-packed, so uh, we might as well get day two underway. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to poolside your referees and their team of technical officials. Your referees for this session are David Metcalf and Susan Harrison. Starters for this session, Kevin Patterson and David Harmon. Officials, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes for our first event here on day number two. This is the women's 50 meters freestyle heats. Heat number one.
Heat one in the women's multi-class. 50 metres freestyle. Pinju Jip in zero. Megan Atkinson in one. Jeannie Darach in two. Grace Cooper Holmes in three. Sally Phillips in four. Gemma Cassatari in five. Jerry Ray Pierce in six. Laura Pilkington in seven. Lauren Sullivan in eight. And Daniel Bailey in lane nine. Again, range of classifications here. The two outside lanes, the lower classifications. So you would expect them to be a little bit slower. And going well in lane number four, Sally Phillips, the S8 swimmer, approaching into the last five. And she is challenged by lane two, Jeannie Darak. Yeah, Pinju Yip out there in lane zero, singing, swimming for Singapore. Uh, a fourth place finish in the Paralympics. A 101.64, quicker entry time this time, 59.34, just 22. And she'll come in in the final position in a, a 1 minute 0.27. In fact, uh, here, Daniel Bailey coming in for a finish in nine here. And that's a 107.88. So, uh, Njuyip, 4.87 in terms of points. Takes out first heat. There are the official results. Megan Atkinson, Sally Phillips. That's the top three from heat number one. Morning, Paul. Hi, Alan. Got my breath back just about. Yeah, good run down from the old uh, stands, then onto the pool deck, now back into the commentary box. Oh, blame me, yeah. It's been all good this morning. And uh, don't forget, keep sending your pictures in, uh, and obviously... Uh, Kate's example picture has caused a, a melee of uh, pictures. Valerie Derrick has sent one in. Uh, we've also got one from uh, Luke Kimberley as well. So, uh, well done. Keep them all coming in. And uh, Charlotte Henshaw tweeting as well, using the hashtag. She's doing a cheeky little 200 IM. I told her to nudge Coke to Glenn and make him smile, but uh, that's not going to work. No, Paul's just agree with me. So, uh, keep your tweets coming. We move on to heat number two. We are all for heat number two. Maisie Summers Newton in lane zero. Rebecca Donnelly in one. Paige Murray in two. Lizette Toynison in three. Megan Short in four. Samantha Lewis in five. Next to Samantha Wilson. Teresa Go in seven. Sophie Taylor in eight. And Adele Maguire goes in lane number nine. Well, Lizette Toynison in this heat in number three. Right, there's no one in lane number three, so Lizette Tonis are not making the start there. The European record holder. Oh, in her absence, Samantha Lewis is the one who's hit the front. Samantha Lewis is going to take this one in the yellow cap. 43.18 for Samantha Lewis. And that is a good time for the satellite swimmer. Next to her teammate, Megan Short. And Maisie Summers-Newton also swam well in the outside lane. Maisie Summers-Newton swam well yesterday too, Alan. There are a lot of people here, Paul, who have uh, impressed with their times. A couple of records yesterday. You managed to say uh, subject to ratification in the morning session of day one. I'm always uh, pleased to, to hear that as many times as I can. And you managed to get it out a few times in the morning. And uh, it was uh, equaled in the evening as well. People like Simon Boer, who uh, Kate interviewed on pool deck. Kate will be with us all day today as well. You might see her this morning. You might not. We don't know. She just appears with a mic and a camera whenever she feels like it. Appearing a bit sooner than Kate will be heat number three. Heat three is on the way. Emma Warrington in zero. Eleanor Robinson in one. Abigail Easton in two. Katie Rillett Young in three. Rachel Tweedy in four. Lizette Brown Smart. Then five. Hayley Milne in six. Julia Costello Ferry in seven. Molly Hopkins in eight. And Megan Ross. Oh, you'll be seeing on the scoreboard and on the video board the.
points totals and of course there are a mixture of classifications in all of these events. Lane 5, you see the tapping stick there used at the end to let the visually impaired swimmers know where the end of the pool is coming. 36.57 for Lisette Brownsma from the Netherlands. The visually impaired swimmer and that is a good swim from her, a big improvement on her entry time of 42.27. Coming into the end, you see on the replay on the video board and the big tapping stick there just telling her where the end of the pool is. Of course, the points that you will see next to the times are the how close the swimmer is to the world record for their classification. 1,000 points is equivalent to a world record swim as it stood last year. 570 points is the top points earner for Katie Rillett young she is in ahead of Eleanor Robinson, who is the second top points earner. So those two closest to the world record for their classifications in that heat. number four. Jordan Marjorie in zero, Ellie Blacknell in one, Lavana Hansen goes into great picture of Lavana Hansen with her idol Jessica Long yesterday, which I retweeted. Both the same disability, double leg amputees. Getting into this tweet in Milan, yeah, aren't you? Good, yeah. Jamie McCabe in three, Beth Johnson in four, we saw her on camera last night. Grace Harvey five, Albin Kelly in six, Liz Johnson in seven, Thelma Bjorn's daughter in eight, and Sabina Weber Treiber in lane nine. And while here in three is Jane McCabe at 35.45, giving her 550 points for her morning swim here on day two of the British Parrot Swimming International Meet. Second, just behind Grace Harvey, 5.34, but then all of a sudden the points start to rack up in lanes nine and ten with uh, Sabina Weber-Treber and uh, Thelma Bjorns Dottier, both S6 swimmers, clocking 6.53 and 6.11 respectively. So... Uh, Whilst the time race was won by Jay McCabe, the points came flowing in to lanes 9 and 8. Fibre today about 40.07. You can see the official results on your screen now. 653. I'll have to hang on and wait to see if any of these swims are good enough to take them through to any of our finals tonight because there are 11 heats of this first event. Meaning we ought to move on to heat number five, so we will.
the heat five is underway after those problems at the start we have Tammy Barrett Haynes in zero Lily McLeod in one Maya Briscoe in two Ellie Simmons goes in four now Carl Farrell in five Sana Hoffman in six Rebecca Franks in seven Olivia May Cameron in eight and Sarah Pursued in lane nine well what can Ellie Simmons do here the S6 swimmer the world champion in against swimmers of a higher classification, but we'll watch her. Ellie Simmons surely will get the highest points total, Alan. 829, it's a, a good start for Ellie Simmons. She'll be looking to go even faster this evening, and that should be a good enough time and points to take her through. 829 is the time that's clocked here in lane four. And uh, some distance between herself and next up, which is uh, Olivia May Cameron, as far as I can see on this board, uh, 494 for Coral Farrell as well. The S10 swimmer going in lane five. So we're just waiting for the official results of heat number five. Uh, and in fact, there they are. So uh, Simmons in 829. Paul should be really happy with a start like that. Yeah, absolutely. 37.02, pretty comfortable. She should make it through to the final this evening. And a great experience there. We saw. Three 13-year-olds and a 14-year-old in that one. Billy McLeod, Coral Farrell, Sana Hoffman. And they can always say they can go home now, say they swam in the same heat as Ellie Simmons. What an experience. Let's move on to our next heat, which will be number six. Eight six on the way. Kirsten Pinson in zero. Amy McFarlane in one. Hope Gordon in two. Fionn Butler in three. Denise Skrull in four. Harriet Dickinson five. Romy Pansters in six. Natalie Moon in seven. Lucy Chenery in eight. And Kirsten Brune goes in lane nine. The great German swimmer in the outside lane. Kirsten Brune going to be the favourite for the points total here. But it's very tight at the front of the field. You need to be looking around about the 800 points and above marker to make those finals. And it's uh, an 8.14 for Denise Grau in, uh, in lane four. Very good swim there. Uh, and that's uh, caught a couple of us out. The S7 swim at a very good 33.88. Uh, Kirsten Brune, 5.75. Romy Panthers, 6.37. A 6.50 from Fionn Butler. So uh, some pretty decent scores going around. But Denise Grau's time, 33.88. Clocking up 814 points for the S7 swimmer. And uh, Grau pops the pile here in heat number six. Keep your tweets coming. Emma Wiley, Phil Smith, your, uh, your friend Chantal Hunak is on again this morning. Part of the Dutch team here. And uh, she said she was happy yesterday that you remembered her perfectly well. As uh, Paul never forgets a thing. Emma Wiley saying good luck to Matt Wiley and Morgan Peters in the 53. That's coming up later, but coming up next, 8 7. In event 201, heat number five, lane three was a disqualification at the start of race. That's heat five, lane three, event 201, a disqualification, start of race. Daniel Hartin goes in zero in this heat number seven. In the lanes inside her, Zara Maluli, Inga Belfour, Chloe Buck, Megan Richter, Kira Shepard, Courtney Jordan, Gemma Bennett, 
and Susie Rogers in the outside lane. Well, lot to look out for here. British record holder Susie Rogers, 33.95 for Susie Rogers, and that's very close to her British record of 33.84. An excellent swim there from Susie Rogers. She must be very pleased with her form, and that is inside the GB qualification standard for the 50 meters freestyle for the S7. So well done, Susie Rogers. Another qualification standard achieved. I know that Alan March is very friendly with Susie Rogers' mum. Always gives her a mention there. That took him by surprise. He's lost for words now. Very often. Morning, Mrs. Rogers. Who's he doing well? As you say, 809. Telling me that her, her mum was really happy because I mentioned her every time she's in now, so I do. But uh, that's because Susie Rogers tops the pile. So 809, 755 for Kira Shepherd. Courtney Jordan equaling that points total on 755 as well. Shall we move on to heat eight, Paul? Yeah, let's. Let's do that. Eight eight has now came in zero. Charlotte Harton in one, Kaylin Curry in two, Rosie Bancroft in lane three, Larissa Yarova in four, Nuria Marcus Soto in five, Stira Verman in six, Manion Vermarian in seven, He Yun Wong in eight, and Letitia Martinez in eleven. But looking good here in lane number two, Kaylin Curry, the S thirteen swimmer, thirty point eight six for Kaylin Curry. That's a very good swim there from the visually impaired swimmer in lane number two. Oh, uh, 789, being clocked, that's a good points tally. Nuria Marquez Soto in lane number five here. Eight, eight, that is. Remember, 11 heats to come in this women's freestyle 50 meter. We'll just wait for the official results and uh, Kaylin Curry and Letitia Martinez coming in in second and third in the points total on your uh, official results board. Keep your tweets coming as well. Hashtag nice and simple BPSIM14. Get those selfies coming in as well. You've all got your phones. Let's move on to Heat 9. Heat nine, big heat this one. We have Slater, Pap, Young, Gascon, Mortimer, Kravzov, Ziedefeldt, Savelsberg, Keane and West. Pretty international looking field, that one. Hungary, USA, Netherlands, Germany, Ireland, Preston and London on the outside. So uh, a real mix here at the British Para Swimming International Meet, and a very good swim here from Sarah Gascon. 961 points. You get above 900 and Paul starts reaching for paperwork, and that's always a, a good sign. Uh, a very good swim from Sarah Gascon. 961, uh, Summer Mortimer, 28.63. Uh, thank you to Chantal Bunaka. It's a Dutch record in the 53 by uh, Stevie Veerman. The uh, S13 category, there you go, being helped along here, Paul. You're, normally you're the, the one for the stats, but uh, Chantal 
is obviously the Dutch version of yourself. It's all in there. That's right, yeah. Just reeling off those records. So thank you very much to, to her. Keep the tweets coming, but uh, good swims here. Gas got Mortimer both in the 900s. We should see them again later on. Steph Slater representing Preston, of course, the S8 swimmer. Locking up 879 points of her own. And that takes us round to the penultimate heat of these women's 50 metre freestyles. Heat number 10. Stephanie Slater in that last seat there, achieving the qualification standard for the GB team for the European Championship. So well done to Steph Slater. This heat, though, sees Elizabeth Smith, Natalie Massey, Valerina Shablina, Hannah Russell, Chantel Molenkamp, Ari Iki, Alice Tai, Colburn Stephen Zotier, and Mai Ichinos from Japan in the outside lane. Finishing another good points tally here. Hannah Russell, 885 in a 28.02. She, uh, she won the silver medal in this event here at the British Champs last year. So, uh, finishing just behind Amy Marin, but here, 885 will uh, be enough, I'm sure, to put her in contention for that A final. Chantel Mollenkamp, 830, a 29.56. Elizabeth Smith, 30. Point nine four. We've got people watching in Brisbane. Uh, Chris Silverwood, morning or afternoon or evening or whatever it is to you. Brisbane, I'm told it's evening. We've got an Australian in the room, so it's about early afternoon over there. And it says, uh, woohoo, Daniel Bailey smashed that 53. Uh, watching live from Brisbane. Hashtag BPSIM14. Don't forget to send us your selfies, even if you're at home. Send a picture of yourself wherever you are in the world. However it is you're watching this British Para Swimming International meet. Send us that picture. Let's move on to the final heat. Heat number 11. Final heat is Emily Telly, Kurt Clashmore, Amy Marin, Naomi Mikey Schnitger, Deborah Font, Margie Ulsers, Magda Tutters, Lisa Kruger, and Bagona Carrero. Centre lanes here, they are going to fight it out. Maybe lane number three, Naomi Mikey Schnitger going well there, the visually impaired swimmer from Germany against the other S12 swimmer, Deborah Front from Spain, but it is Schnittgar, 29.22. She will get the touch there ahead of Deborah Font. But the highest points total will go to the S9 swimmer, the arm amputee, Amy Marin, one of the great young stars from Great Britain, 878 points. Uh, Marin won this competition last year. 30.06 was the time she did to win the event. Uh, and 878, again, Paul, is uh, a good start to the morning. It's going to be interesting to see who makes that A final later on. Some very good swims here this morning. Very classy field put out in those 11 heats. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause for all of the athletes that took part in the 11 heats of the women's 50 metres freestyle session this morning. Well done to all of those swimmers on their times. Good start, Paul. It was good, I think. You're probably right, Alan. I think 800 odd points is gonna make the final here. So Claire Cashmore, just on that 800 point mark, she might be struggling or she might just scrape into the final this evening. So. The great tweet just come in. And uh, I'm not sure whether I want to tell Kate Gray. It just says, Kate Gray is fit. And she's laughing her head off here in the room. She's gone, oh, she's gone red as well. Uh, <laughs> Adam Fellows, it says, Kate Gray's fit. Go Ollie Fellows. We're all watching you. Make us proud. Here's the men's heats of the 50 freestyle heat one.
per seat at the men's 50 freestyle. Afandiev in zero, Geraldine in one, Dimitri Salet, look at that man go in lane two, Anderson Jamba in three, Quinta Harris four, Curtis Lovejoy five, Stephen Clegg, Geraldine and Abdullah complete the lineup. What a swim this is, 836, Dimitri Salet, 24-4-0. God, it went like a rocket. 24-4-0. And uh, take a look at some of the times coming in here. Here in eight is uh, Zul Abdullah. Uh, coming through in lane three, Anderson Jamba, the S5 category at the moment. That 836, an electric speed and wonderful score for Dimitri Soleil. And uh, here comes Jamba to finish. Quentin Harris will come through the final five meters here in S4. What can Lovejoy do in five? Yes, for swimmer Harris touches. Here's Lovejoy. Paul, let's have a look at the time as he comes in. He was formerly the world record holder, Curtis Lovejoy. Not on that pace today. 113.24 for Lovejoy. And 528 points will be ooh, just about third there. Very close in terms of points between three swimmers. But no doubt about who had the top points earners. Dimitri Saleh. He was well ahead of the rest there. The visually impaired swimmer. Very impressive, 24.40 and 836 points. Of course, the reason he's in this first heat because he hasn't got an entry time. So he's in with what you would traditionally have said was the, the slowest heat, the swimmers with the slowest times. But his Lovejoy's time is uh, some two and a half seconds in his entry time, the 57-year-old uh, from the United States. So uh, Paralympic finalist has notched a, a better time in his entry. In a 113-24 to come third. Eldar Fundayev coming in 530 points into second. And Dimitri Saleh, S12 swimmer, coming in there in a very respectable 24-40, 8.36. He might just make the final in the very first swim of the heat. And there's uh, 10 more of those to come. So he's got a, a long, old, nervy wait. We now move on to heat number two. Martin Estoilo in zero, Niels Grunenberg in one, William Holland Levens in two, Matthew Close in three, Ma Michael Schermacher in four, Lyndon Longhorn in five, Finley Middleton in six, Matthew Harding in seven, Gareth Picken in eight, and Istak Mamist Valov, a world record holder in the S1 class. He is there in lane nine, although we can't see him but from our position, but he is there. It's a cracking position on Paul Deck. It really is. You see everything apart from... The majority of lane nine, unfortunately, but we know he's there. His time will come up in a moment. Mama Zalov, uh, one of my most probably inspirational moments as commentating on disability swimming, came when he uh, broke the world record in Sheffield a couple of years back, Paul. I think you were there with me, and uh, the entire crowd was on its feet, clapping him in, and it was uh, a real emotional moment. But uh, what's Valov here in nine, taking this touch, 849. And that's another plus 800 score in just the second heat here. Uh, and those people to come, I know it's a nervy wait for those ones who've already been, but the ones to come will now know they've got some work to do to make it into the A final tonight, or indeed any of the finals. So good swim from Mamad Svalov, 107.52. Michael Schumacher, 6.63. And Martinez Tajolo, 508 as they make their way out. Yeah, Mamad Svalov, the S1 swimmer, the most severe disability in the Paralympic programme. Just swimming there with the use of one arm. The rest of his body, very, very tight. Cerebral palsy swimmer. Just with use of that one big arm that he uses. And he uses it to great effect. 107.52. Excellent time. And maybe go faster tonight. 
quicker than uh, when he came third in last year's uh, international meet as well. So he uh, did a 108-19 in the final of that to take a bronze behind uh, Craig and Matthew Walker in terms of points, of course. So, uh, and he's already swimming quicker than that. So, uh, well done. It's that Mamet Svalov. And as the Israeli is out of the pool, we'll move on to heat three. Neil Freem in zero, Patrick Flanagan in one, James Scully in two, Lachlan Macbeth in three, Damien and G in four, Craig Smith in five, Andrew Mullen goes in six, Liam Wolf seven, Connor Freeman in eight, and Adam Donachy in lane nine. Going well here in three is uh, Lachlan Macbeth. Just edging out lane four and five, Zingi and Smith. But uh, Macbeth takes the touch, three, eight, four. 395 for Smith, but Andrew Mullen then comes in with a very respectable 645 in the S5 category, 3709. I'm getting my thumbs up from Paul. Yeah, I think that's inside the B standard for the qualification. Oh, in fact, maybe not, actually. <laughs> no, I'm looking at the wrong times there. Sorry, Andrew. Got you excited there. You're about half a second out of the B standard, but he's got more to come, I'm sure, this evening. I'm sure he'll forgive me. He's looking over at me now. 37.09 for Andrew Miller is the top points earner. I should earn him a place, certainly a junior final tonight. Andrew Mullen, one of the top swimmers in Britain. I nearly had to take a seat there. You nearly made a mistake, but you were very I quick. I very saved quick. myself. Saved you, sir. I, nearly I was looking down. at the women's qualification time. Ah. Andrew Mullen, you'll be pleased to know you made the women's qualification time, but you haven't quite made the men's one. Not far away. And uh, Andrew... Very impressive swimmer for Great Britain. The S5 swimmer clocking 37.09, which allows us to move on to heat number four. Aaron Maddox in zero, Hannah Sherman in one, Callum Hodgson in two, Matthew Phillips in three, Dominic Ranaraja in four, Matthew Risworth in five, Peter Davis in six, Neil Howie in seven, Thomas Urry in eight, and Rufus McCree in nine. For you to uh, Jeff Jones for his tweet. Happy birthday to William Jones. Lots of love for his friends and family. Lots of smiles on the end of that. Hashtag BPSIM14. Send us your tweet from wherever you are in the world watching. And we know this is going worldwide because we've seen... All the stats telling us where people have been watching from. And here, you're watching a 5.22 being clocked by uh, Hans Schumann. 34.36 the time. Uh, 4.61 for Peter Davis. 33.42. So, uh, eight for finishes. And uh, we'll move on in a second. The heat number five. Keep the tweet to coming. BPSIM 14 or BIPSIM 14, if it helps you remember it. Even I was using that yesterday. You've started tweeting more Good. than me. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. No. That's not possible. That's not possible. Those results of that heat confirmed on the scoreboard. And as the swimmers exit the water, we move on to the next heat, which is heat number five.
in the S5 class, Sebastian Rodriguez, 57-year-old from Spain, Tom Piggott in one, Blaze Kenny in two, Roy Perkins in three, Oliver Carter four, Joshua Monaghan Coombs in five, Oliver Shergold in six, Kasuki Aoyama in seven, Wai Tong To in eight, and Daniel Bennett in nine. Is it going to be the touch in the centre lane there? Very, very close there, but... It looks like Blaze Kenny has just taken that one, 31.79, but very tight at the finish. Good finishes from Sebastian Rodriguez, 732 points in a 35.57. Uh, and then a good swim from Roy Perkins as well. Sebastian Rodriguez, uh, age 57, it says here. That's a, a second 57-year-old of the morning. And me and you were struggling to get out of bed to go to breakfast. Never mind her morning swim, but uh, Rodriguez... He's 57, according to our bits of paper. So, too, is Curtis Lovejoy. So, uh, what's, right. your, what's your excuse? <laughs> well, yeah, maybe I should get back in. I mean, Kate Gray with a swim off this afternoon. You never know. Sebastian Rodriguez, so, guy, he's been around for a while. Multi Paralympic medalist, starting from Sydney back in the year 2000. And uh, great Spanish swimmer, European record holder still. 732 points there for the Spaniard. That result is confirmed on your scoreboard. His great rival, the American in the S5 class, Roy Perkins. Second top points earner, 660 points. We move on to the next heat, which is heat number six. Sasha can read back in in this one. The full lineup is Malta Braunschweig, Arthur Morley, Jack Baker, Jamie Warner, Jackson Simmons, Grant Taylor, Matthew Trondle, Oliver Fellows, Sasha can goes in eight, and Jack Sheffield in lane nine. At the head of the field looks like lane number three, Jamie Warner had a good day yesterday. And he's following up that swim with another excellent time there 29.45 for the young man, the S10 swimmer. Let's see where Sasha getting on today. 33.184, Sasha Kindred. That's a decent time for Sasha. And he is just behind Grant Taylor there in terms of points earning. Grant Taylor, the top, with 32.05, 643 points. Sasha Kindred in second position, just five points behind, 33.18. Six hundred and forty three takes it, Grant Taylor. So Kindred. Coming in, in second. We have uh, a disqualification in event two oh two, heat five, uh, lane number eight at start of race. That's heat five in lane eight of the event two oh two at start of race. Paul go. I'm just look I'm making sure I'm looking at the right set of times here, but Sasha Kindred's time thirty three point one eight is inside the qualification standard. 33.45, Alan nodding his head, so well done, Sasha Kindred. Another qualification time achieved for the great man, Sasha Kindred. Top man, top swim, next heat. Can anyone follow up that great swim from Sasha Kindred, Nathan Green in zero, Lewis White performed well yesterday in one, Craig McNeil in two, Bastian Fontaine in three, Kieran Neary in four, Neil Spender in five, Gareth Orr in six, Benjamin Fulson in seven, Michael Jones in eight, and Andreas O'Ne in lane nine. Very tight here, maybe lane number one, possibly. It is Lewis White first to the wall, but it was very close. Another good swim from the young man, Lewis White, 29.80. And he gets in ahead of Bastian Fontaine and Craig McNeil. 
And in terms of the points totals, Lewis White is in second position with exactly 600 points. But that top points earner goes to Michael Jones with exactly 700 points. So the points totals beginning to go up there as the heats get a little bit faster. And Michael Jones, the S7 swimmer, that's a good time, 31 Point one six seven hundred points for Michael Jones. He is the top point center in that heat. As the swimmers exit the water, we move on to heat number eight. Ten Hen Leo, Lawrence McGivern, Tim Van Duren, Dimitris Milchalasatic, Tharon Drake, Robert Dalglish, Callum Pearson, Jonathan Fox, Joshua Hudson, and Craig Moat. Who's ahead? Yeah, it's got to be the Greek swimmer. It has to be Mitchell and Satic gets in there in lane number three, twenty-eight point one three. He has been on good form and much to Alan and I's dismay, we've had to pronounce his name a number of times there. And he has been on great form, the Greek swimmer, hasn't he? On the podium last night, uh, Miklant Zakis. That's, uh, that's the baby. At 713. Miklant Zakis, but he's pipped out here by Jonathan Fox. Slightly easier. Jonathan Fox, 819 points. So uh, a good 106 points clear of his nearest competitor in this one. John Fox now, of course, swimming for City of Manchester. And uh, he registers a 29.58. Uh, Tim Van Duren, also on a podium yesterday. 28.34697 points for the Dutchman. And the Orange Army, sat just down the pool, have been very happy with the amount of medals and times they've been getting here in Glasgow in preparation for the European Championships. Let's move on to heat number nine. Heat number nine, Stefan Hogan in zero, Ryan West in one, Oscar Livesey in two, Jose Maria Alcaraz in three, Omar Font in four, John Margiers Ferrison in five. Doesn't look like we have swimmers in six or seven, Morgan Peters in eight, and Joseph Craig in the outside lane in lane nine. Who's first to the wall there? It is a very good time there. John Margiers Ferrison, the Paralympic champion in 200 freestyle, showing his style over the 50 metres event. 25.41, 902 points ahead of Alcarath and Ryan West. We saw some uh, hefty points totals in the first couple of heats, Paul. We're coming towards the end of these heats of the men's 53, and now all of a sudden Margiers Ferrison clocks up a 902, and uh, Mari Alcaraz is not far behind in 880. Uh, keep your tweets coming. Lovely one here. Lee Davies has sent one in. It's a poolside selfie for Chloe Davies, Gemma Allman, and Billy Pye. And uh, oh, they're all smiling. They all look happy. So uh, thank you very much for that. If you've got a selfie, send it in. If you've got a tweet, send it in. What we'll do is move on to heat number 10. Paul's got a very good stat about Gemma Almond. We we're going to save it. We're going to save it for later. We've got a good story about Kate Gray to tell you later as well.
William Jones in zero, Adam Melville in one, Artem Pavlenko in two, James Clegg in three, Tucker Dupre in four, Daniel Simon in five, Thomas Hamer in seven, Rob Steinhauer in eight, and Matthew Walker in lane number nine. Well, the man that's been on good form is Tucker Dupre. He's first to the wall again, 24.60 for Tucker Dupre. He's followed home by Daniel Simon from Germany and James Clegg, 25.48 in third. And let's have a look, Matthew Walker, top of the points total, 910 points in a time of 28.55. And that is inside the qualification standard for Matthew Walker, 28.55. He was very happy in lane nine. He knew as soon as he took a look, he knew exactly what times he was looking for. And Matthew Walker looked straight into the crowd. He shook his fists in celebration. So uh, well done to Matthew Walker, 910 points. I'm sure we'll see him again later on in the final, but good swim from the S7 swimmer, 28.55 and 910 points. And just as he walks away from the pool underneath, the scoreboard, he knows exactly what he's achieved. Great time, great point score. And uh, he's already starting his celebration in lane nine as he finished that. So uh, well done to him. 8.16 from Tucker Dupree. 7.83, Thomas Hamer, who's having a very impressive meet. We move on to our next heat. It's heat number 11, Paul. The final heat, Thomas Soares in zero, Ryan Crouch in one, Kaichi Kimura in two, Felipe Rodriguez in four. Next to David Levesque, Rob Wellborn, Julian Exorben, Matthew Wiley and Fraser Kane. But look at this man go in lane four, Felipe Rodriguez, City of Manchester aquatic swimmer, the Brazilian, Brazilian silver medalist at the Paralympic Games. He touches first in 24.13, followed home by David Levesque, the former European record holder, and Rob Wellborn in third. Another very good points tally here. Three people outside of 700 in the uh, entire pool there. An 8-4 eight, eight, from Rodriguez. Katie Kimura, 7-9-2. I'm not even sure that's good enough to make the A final. Even though it's a good morning swim, the S11 swimmer. 7-9-2. Matthew Wiley, 7-7-3 seven, seven, in 27-3-8. Yeah, good time. Matthew Wiley's been in excellent form recently. Set a British record in the 100 freestyle last week. And that 27.38 is edging close to the British record held by Simon Miller, 26.70. So half a second to make up in the final tonight for Matthew Wiley. But good swim from the S9 swimmer. Couldn't catch the fast guys at the front. Felipe Rodriguez, 24.13. That was excellent from the Brazilian. Keiichi Kimura, the man with the, who is visually impaired, who has no vision at all, he is in second position, a good time of 27.31 in second. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our next event of this morning's session. Please welcome to poolside the women's 200 metres individual medley heats. This, well this is heat one.
So uh, 34.66, a good time to set here this morning. And uh, coming in to uh, make their first turn here in five is Megan Atkinson. Also got to Theresa Go and uh, Suzanne Warren, S5 swimmer, also in the. Chabellina out, uh, out the front there for the other swimmers. Again, one of these swimmers in the early heats who have got no entry time, so. She is uh, significantly faster than the others in this 200 meters individual medley. Looks like it is Megan Atkinson leading the other three. Megan Atkinson, the SM6 swimmer, Suzanne Warren and Teresa Go, the SM5 swimmers there. So Suzanne Warren doing very well in lane number three and Teresa Go in lane number four. Teresa Go from Singapore. The World Championship medalist back in 2006, so been around for a while, Theresa Go, but she's been headed by her young GB competitor there, Suzanne Warren, in the SM5 class in lane number three. That's the fight there between Suzanne Warren and Theresa Go. They have been headed by Megan Atkinson, but the S14 swimmer, Chabalina, has taken up the running in this first heat she's going to win this by a long way let's check the time for Shabalina as she's coming into the last 10 meters no entry time so nothing really to compare her time against but she finishes oh well scoreboard not giving us a time there but she is significantly ahead of the rest of the field frustrating when that scoreboard doesn't work Alan Things going interestingly awry, let's say. Uh, we, uh, we know it's Shemelina. She takes the finish. Uh, we'll give you the times in a little while if we can. At the moment, the uh, in-venue guys are just working on a few bugs that have crawled into the system. Uh, so, coming into the final turn is uh, Megan Atkinson. Peter Lee swimmer. 4.36.58 as an entry time here, Paul. Uh, the S6 swimmer, the British record, belongs, of course, to Ellie Simmons in this. 3.04.41, so some way off of that. But she's just 14, so plenty of time. Yep, similar disability to Ellie Simmons. And one of a number of the, the dwarf swimmers who have been inspired by Ellie Simmons over the past few years are hoping for them to make the breakthrough into the international ranks. And some of them coming through very nicely indeed. Megan Atkinson is one of those. Suzanne Warren going over to her final turn. It's very interesting in the 200 IM. Things might change about as they go on to the different strokes here. We saw Teresa go from Singapore really come through very strongly on the breaststroke leg. Megan Atkinson, though, showing that strong freestyle. She looks very similar style to Ellie Simmons, actually, head on. Maybe something to work on as Megan Atkinson comes in for 20.77. I know me and you have got a, a quite a relaxed sort of working pattern, but you've sat down as well. How relaxed are you? Cup of tea, relaxed, very good. Atkinson coming in then, 4.27.7, 354 points. We'll try and bring you the points total uh, for Shambalina uh, if we can. Uh, a little bit later, but it was the uh, S14 swimmer that came in here. 238.99. <laughs> People standing outside our window. Move on. Move on. Uh, 330. Uh, Theresa Go, the S5 swimmer. And uh, let's offer some encouragement here to, to Suzanne Warren, the S5 swimmer, coming in here in lane number three. Uh, being applauded by some of the swimmers on the blocks as well. That's lovely to see. That's fantastic sportsmanship. 238 in terms of point to 5, 12.09 for Suzanne Warren. Here is a go. 3.30. Atkinson, 3.54. And we can move on to heat number two.
So Shabalina's time there, not with a name against it and from that previous heat, but it was a decent time, 2.38 for the S14 swimmers, that's not bad at all. Elise Martin de la Tour goes in lane number one in this heat too. Abigail Easton goes in lane number two. In fact, I'm just looking down the pool there. Doesn't look like Abigail Easton is in there. We have Thelma Bjornstot here in three, Katie Rillett Young in four, Samantha Lewis in five, Eleanor Robinson in six, Megan Short in seven, and Maisie Summers Newton in lane number eight. So it looks like we're missing a few swimmers here in these early heats of the 200 IM, or some extra swimmer in that uh, first heat. First to the wall in this one was Elise Martin de la Tour in the outside lane. SM6 swimmer. Just to recap on the classifications, 1 to 10 are four swimmers with a physical disability, one being the most severe, 10 being the least impaired. We get on to the 11 to 13s for visual impairments and the 14s for those with a learning disability. At least Martin de la Tour is the one who is leading here. She said in the previous heat, Things can change about in an individual medley. It's good, good butterfly and backstroke for Elise Martin de la Tour. Let's see what she has on the breaststroke leg. And then following her is Samantha Lewis in lane number five, the SM9 swimmer. Thelma Bjornsdott here in third place at the moment as they go through halfway. So, uh, de la Tour coming through and leading here, the S6 swimmer. One of five here in heat number two. Anthony Lewis in second, S9. Megan Short down in fifth, S7 swimmer. As Paul says, though, this is the beauty of the IM. Can all change. Uh, was a big point score in last year's final. All three getting over a thousand points in the final race. So uh, something to look forward to. Van der Kolk, Davies, and Tutes. All getting over that thousand point marker. Oh, well, Van der Kulp went on to be the world champion later that year, so it's a good marker for the world championships. Maybe a good marker for the Europeans later on this year. Davis was also a medalist in the 200 metres individual medley, too, at the world championships. So, two of the three swimmers there who won medals last year went on to be world championship medalists. So, good marker there. Any more tweets coming in, Alan? We oh. want to keep them coming. Raining in. Damien and Guy, we've seen swimming. Uh, personal best, number one in the bag, he says. 50 metre free with a 35 4 1 over half a second off. So uh, not bad for the splash and dash. He'll, uh, he'll make a comment using phrases like that. Uh, well done, Damien and Guy. Thank you very much for your tweet. Uh, Chantel Bunaka, 53, you final for Timmy uh, in a PB of 28 3 4, qualifying third. Well done there. Uh, Swansea Stingrays, great swims. Uh, Joshua Hodgson and Morgan Peters, uh, cheeky little PBs as well. Well done, Megan Atkinson coming in from Daniel Bailey. Mike Berry tweeting in as well. Good luck to Megan Richter, uh, third greatest enemy, the 200 IM of the stairs and hill reps. So uh, there you go. That's, uh, that's what Megan Richter's third 
greatest enemy is. In they come here in heat number two then. Uh, points totals, 5-7-4 for uh, Felma Bjorn's Dottier in lane number three, followed in in a time of 3.48.6.7 by Martin Del Rattore. 5.24, been practicing that one. Third, 4.74, Maisie Summers Newton coming home there in lane eight. We get the thumbs up, we get the whistle as the athletes make their way out. We get the official results being displayed on the scoreboard. 574 from Felma Johns Dottier. As uh, some people in the building entertain themselves. We, we will move on to heat number three. Enough time to tell you there's a, another tweet coming. This one's from Nairi Kindred. It's well done, Daddy, at Sash Kindred. And it's from the, from the little one. Lovely picture of the fair. It's all right, isn't it? Fairground ride, Paul. We should, we should find out where that is and go. Who have we got in this one? Grace Harvey in zero. Beth Johnson goes in one. Sarah Pashut in two. Rebecca Franks in three. Chi Fang Tang in four. Liz Johnson in five. Adele Maguire six. Jordan Marjorie had a good day yesterday. She goes in seven. Emma Warrington in eight. And Olivia May Cameron in lane number nine. And a bit of a mixture here. SM14 swimmer. Chi Fang Tang is going to be leading, I think, as they come into the first turn, 37.69. It is Xi Fang Tang, who does lead. Uh, big hello to uh, Rob Kirk, sending a tweet in, loving the live stream, but he's got it on mute. That always helps. But, uh, loving the live stream, Rob Kirk. Well done for tuning in. Remember, if you're at home, anywhere around the world, send us your selfie. We want to see how and where you're watching the live stream from. We had a couple yesterday, people like John Bailey tweeting in, lying in bed, watching the live stream on the laptop. That's how you do it. That's comfort. Yeah. Some people ask us whether we commentate from our, our rooms. Do we do it live? That's the question we always get. Do you commentate live? Yeah, it tends to help. And... Uh, to demonstrate how live it is here in lane three. Turning is Rebecca Franks in 138.42 or 47 in second. Just behind Chil Fan Tang, the S14 swimmer who uh, leading away here nicely, Paul. Yes, indeed. She has got around about 10 second advantage there over the rest of the fields, moving away all the time, Chil Fan Tang. Going away, the SM14 swimmer. Hong Kong swimmer. Talking yesterday about the Hong Kong swimmers, we don't see very much of uh, Hong Kong on the world stage in Paralympics, but we do see swimmers in the learning disability classes. That seems to be a great strength of them. At the World Championships there a few years ago, probably about 10 years ago now in Hong Kong. And they're trying to be on the medal podium at the major championships and have had some good swims in recent years. Here's another one of the up and coming stars for Hong Kong. And she's stretching away from the rest of the field by a long, long way now, about 20 meter advantage there. For well, the Hong Kong swimmer who's in second place could well be Liz Johnson. Disappointed last night with her swim in the breaststroke just outside the qualification standard for the GB team for the European Championships. Paralympic champion back in 2008 in Beijing, Liz Johnson. 
but it was a big chance for her last night. She's shown the breaststroke leg to great advantage, but she's dropping back on the freestyle now. Been overtaken by the other swimmers, probably Beth Johnson swimming well in lane number one. Very good finish from Beth Johnson. Good to see the uh, teammates of Chu Fang Tang, the uh, Hong Kong guys, sat in the crowd, giving her applause as she came in there. Obviously happy with the swim, 306.83, giving 525 points. And uh, Elizabeth Johnson, 634, with a time of 334.68. So the S6 swimmer tops the pile so far as we come in to the finishing. And uh, here comes Olivia May Cameron here in nine. Doesn't topple Johnson's score. So 634 is indeed the time we get. Four thumbs up from referee Susan Harrison, which means we know we're going to move on. And she knows she's had a mention. And we're going to move on to our next heat. And of course that will be heat number four. Heat four, Sana Hoffman in zero, Hasna Hakim in one, Kirsten Pinson in two, Coral Farrell in three, Sophie West in four, Lucy Chenery in five, Chicago Ono in six, Sarah Maluli in seven, Eleanor Bamber in eight, Jay McCabe in nine. Where are these swimmers again back in the water? It's been a busy session for a lot of these swimmers. Let's see who's going to lead into the first 50. Can't see because the next heat is walking past us as we speak. Giving us a wave. See some big names in this next one coming up. Let's concentrate on this one though. We have Sophie West in the centre of the pool in lane four. Dr. Sophie West. He's going well there in lane number four. Kirsten Pinson challenging her. The two SM10 swimmers. We have this is an SM event, which means it's a medley event. We have SB events, which are breaststroke, and the other strokes, the backstroke, butterfly and freestyle are all S events. The reason for the difference is that they tend to use different parts of the body on breaststroke, so it's more leg dominated normally than the freestyle events. That's why there's different classes for different uh, disabilities here. So people with uh, leg disabilities tend to drop down a class for breaststroke. Not always the case, but it's kind of a general rule. And of course, it depends how you're affected. A medley, because it contains breaststroke, is a different class for medley too. So good battle at the front of the field, though. Kirsten Pinson and Sophie West, they're going head to head here. Both in the SM10 class, just a minor impairment for these two. Really close as they come into the breaststroke leg. Probably Dr. Sophie West just leading that one there as they go into the freestyle leg. 221.78, just about a second ahead of Kirsten Pinson. And in third place in the outside lane, Jay McCabe. She's an SM9 swimmer. She has the most severe disability in this particular classification in terms of physical impairment. Chicago Ono, the SM11 swimmer though, going over in eighth position. You see the 
tapping stick used by the Japanese coaches here. It's because Chikako Ono has no vision at all. She's wearing blacked out goggles. You'll see the tapping stick as they come into the final stages. But a good battle here. Sophie West may just hang on to the lead here ahead of Kirsten Pinson. They've been side by side all the way. And it is Sophie West who gets it. 3 of 7 point. 3-0.4 of a second ahead of Pinson and Jay McCabe finish well out of our sight in lane nine until she appears in the last five meters and she had a good swim there 308.84 for Jay McCabe. It's great sometimes in these uh, multi-class races Paul you get three or four same category swimmers together and it gives you a real race feel even in the heats and they were really battling it out. Now, in comes Hasna Hakim in lane number one to finalise heat number four. But yeah, good racing between West, Pinson and Farrell as they came rushing home in the S10 category. But it is the S11 swimmer. Kako Ono, 3.19.86. Now, we move on to our fifth heat of nine here in the women's 200 metres individual medley. Speeds, the names get a bit faster and a bit more well known. Are we uh, away we go in heat five then. Coming in lane zero. Swimming under the uh, watchful eye of coach Glenn and Charlotte Henshaw. In front of Ollie Hine there, it's on the front row as well. He's uh, watching on teammate Courtney Jordan then in the one after that. Natalie Moon in two, Letitia Martinez. In three, Eleanor Simmons goes in four. Emma Bennett in five. Megan Richter, in a tweet giving a support for her a little bit earlier on. Lisa Dembraba in seven. Harriet Dickinson in eight. Fionn Butler completes our lineup in nine. Keep your tweets a coming. Robert Nesbitt tweeting in. Good luck. Team UEA, the women's 200 IM, cryptographic. Good luck for the inspirational and amazing Steph Millwood in her heat, the 200 IM. We are watching, it says. We know you can do it. And again, Chantal Bunaka, another Dutch record here, broken uh, by four seconds by uh, Hoffman. Yeah, S13 record, broken by four seconds. So well done, Dutch. Swimmers having a very good meet, and we're kept being kept very nicely up to date by Chantel. So thank you very much for that. Old baby yours. Yeah, Chantel Brunac, I remember her well. Backstroker, as I said yesterday, very successful swimmer in the, oh, probably about 10 years ago now, Chantel. Went pretty well, fixture of the Dutch team. Dutch team been strong Paralympic swimming for a number of years now. Right, Brack, as far as I can remember, I had a lot of good competition against some of the Dutch swimmers. I think, as I said yesterday, Dutch national anthem was all too familiar to me, standing on the podium with silvers and bronzes behind the Dutch swimmers, but that's another story. Good swim at the front of the field, though. Gemma Bennett leading the field. Gemma Bennett, one of the swimmers who's a British record holder up until very recently. In the SM14, in the SB14 class, actually, she was a breaststroke swimmer, Gemma Bennett, and she's just making a comeback now. First time I've seen Gemma for a while. She was a GB team member, World Championships back in 2002. Kind of missed out on the Paralympic Games, because at that time, the
the S14 swimmers were not on the Paralympic programme, so that was a shame for Gemma. Decided to give up, but she's come back now and she's going to win this heat. Gemma Bennett will take it, three minutes, 0 0.50. And she's followed by Natalie Moon, the two S14 swimmers. Take a look at the points being uh, clocked elsewhere around the pool. Dembraba, uh, 574 in that 307. 6-6, six, six, a good 672 then being placed, but Ellie Simmons, 912, a 310, one nine, and uh, Simmons throws in a 900. That's how you do it. That's how you make sure you make a final pull. Bang a 900 in. 310, that is an excellent time there for Ellie Simmons. The swimmers clear the water. 310.19. That has got to be one of the fastest times ever swam for the SM6. Some way outside her world record of 304.41, but she doesn't have to be close to that on this occasion. It is, again, another time inside the qualification criteria for the European Championships. Well done, Ellie Simmons. She never fails to disappoint us there. Ellie Simmons. Never disappoints in that 310.19, and that is another excellent time. 912 points for Ellie Simmons. Myself and Kate Gray just discussing that kick for home during the Paralympics. A memorable moment to commentate on, I'm sure. And uh, oh, Kate was there, and you were there as well. And uh, Kate says she was crying. A memorable moment from the Paris. Well, we'll get some more. We've got the uh, next few heats to come of this event. I'm sure Ellie Simmons will give us plenty more moments throughout the rest of her career. But we move on to heat number six. Can anyone match that points total for Ellie Simmons, Maria Delgado Nadal in zero, Lizzie Simpkin in one, Emily Telly in two, Kaylin Curry in three, Yuen Ying Chao in four, Nicole Loff after that good swim yesterday, what can she do in lane number six, Anita Osk Prasnodotia in seven, Sukman Tang in eight and Inga Belfort in nine. I don't mind our glass commentary box, but as the swimmers walk by, they laugh at us. Yeah, they do. They make faces. Or me, and, anyway. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. It must be you, Alan. <laughs> that never happens to me normally. Well, it's, it's nice to see that they're relaxed and chilled as they're uh, walking towards getting ready for their heat. So uh, that was uh, the next heat of these 200 IMs. Coming in. For the turns then, in first, in lane four, Yun Ying Chao, here in heat number six, Chao, from Hong Kong, the S14, so we're 26 years of age, got an entry time of 2.49.11, uh, leading nicely, second position, Simpkin, Yes, nine to representing Preston. Uh, Lizzie Simpkin, Paralympian from Beijing, 2008. Competitor of Kate Grace, her very own Kate Gray. So I'm against Lizzie Simpkin a number of times. Lizzie just come back, just like we saw Gemma Bennett a couple of heats ago. 
Lizzie Simpkin making a little bit of a comeback after being out a couple of years. Good to see Lizzie back in. She dropped on the breaststroke though, because that lead is now held by Nicole Love, who came through on the breaststroke probably as expected after that British record yesterday. Here they come in the sprint for home then and going very well here. Nicole Love, as Paul says, showing us quality yesterday, a record-breaking swim. And uh, she's now doing her very best to try and get level here with Young Ying Chow. And uh, just coming on the shoulder with five to go. It might just be Love as they come in here at the touch, just. And it's, uh, well, an equal point, but uh, Love just fractionally two one-hundredths of a second in front of Yun Ying Chao. So uh, 248.81, 248.83, but both clocking 711 points for their swims. Uh, 682 for uh, Anito Osk Hafsen Dotti. Yeah, interesting that one. Uh, equal on points there, but two 100 separating them. You know, we see uh, when there's ties on points or times, then quite often that might mean a swim off. See if we would make the final. Well, that's got to be the tiebreaker, I think. If someone's two 100s ahead, I don't think that'll be requiring a swim off, even though they are equal on the points totals. 711, the two swimmers who touch first. They are the two swimmers at the top of the points totals, Nicole Love and Yuen Jin Chao. They're given equal first place because they are equal on 711 points. Third place, Anita Oskrafs Dotia in third position. 682, not too far behind, just 30 points behind the leading two. That was heat number six. We move on now to heat number seven. So keep your tweets coming, hashtag BPSIM14. Uh, nice to see Andy Sixsmith uh, perhaps watching at home on the live stream. He's sending in tweets. He says it was uh, doing a quick roundup, but he said, awesome to see Steph Slater take the 100 free silver uh, from yesterday. Euro qualifying time two. So uh, I think we're now ready. Keep the tweets coming. We move on to heat number seven. Well, what an impressive start there. Bethany Firth straight away into the lead. Bethany Firth represented Ireland, won a gold medal for Ireland at the Paralympic Games. Now is going to be swimming for Britain later on this year. Moved over to the GB team and she leads into the backstroke leg. Full lineup, Janina Salzberg, Lucas Sos, Colleen Young, Lainey Papadopoulos, Bethany Firth, Amy Maron, the European record holder in five, Gemma Armand, Stephanie Slater, also European record holder in the SM8 class, Carla Casals, and Chloe Buck completes the lineup in lane number nine. In event 203, in heat six, lane nine was disqualified during the swim. That's event 203, heat number six, lane number nine, disqualification during swim. Keep the tweets coming. Uh, Jenny Hibbs says, good luck to Jack Sheffield in the 200 IM. Uh, one of the...
got a tweet in here from one of our Spanish representatives, but I don't speak Spanish, so I'm not going to read that tweet out. But uh, he has got the hashtag, so BPS I am 14. And if you want to get on the timeline and you can speak Spanish, let us know what that is. It's uh, yeah, the Al swimmer Al Khabath who's uh, tweeted in. Uh, thank you for tweeting. I'm sure it's a positive message of good luck. But uh, thank you very much to the Spanish swimmers for joining our timeline here on Twitter. And, uh, here they come down to the final turn. Uh, in the lead, Bethany Firth, 153.56, representing City of Newcastle. Here in lane four, this is going to be a quick time. Firth is kicking for home here. Paul, this is going to be up there. Could see our first thousand points total here. Bethany Firth, she can get under the 230 mark and it's looking good for Bethany Firth. It's going to be well inside, surely. She looks supreme, Bethany Firth. What a swim this is. And she gets it, does she? Well, you know what? The time has not come up. Oh, dear. Bethany Firth, that's a disappointment. But we'll get that time as soon as it comes up here. And the scoreboard has just gone a little bit awry here. Amy Marin, a good swim for her too. But we're not getting those times at the minute on our scoreboard. So Amy Marin performing really well. Eleni Papadopoulos too in lane number three had a good swim. We shall bring you these scores as soon as we have them. Stephanie Slater will be interested to see how close that she was able to get to her British and European record. But just at the vital moment, Alan, the technology has just deserted us, hasn't it? Lost for words, mate. We... Uh... We needed it, and it let us down a little bit there. But, uh, well, we'll try and bring you those times and scores as we can. But a very impressive swim from Bethany Firth. Didn't she look great, eh? Huh? That was fantastic. And that, uh, that's a heat swim, Paul. Yeah, uh, it was well under 2.30, I think. And I think the, so, too. Uh, and the world uh, champion, Marlo van der Koop, we, we didn't swim. This morning, she's due to go in a couple of heats time. Be interesting to see. She didn't do the 50, so I wonder if she's saving it for this heat of the 200 IM, which is a big event for Marlou van der Koop. Much bigger than the 50 freestyle for the Dutch swimmer. So we'll she, see if she takes the start in a couple of heats time. You know it's a good swim when Kate Gray starts cheering. She was uh, 15 to go, and uh, Kate was looking at the time and shouting, "Go on!" So uh, a very good swim. We'll try and bring you those scores. In a couple of moments, what we will do is move on to heat number eight. Well, heat number eight is underway. We do have Marta Gomez Batelli in zero, Reagan Doig in one, Sarai Gascon in two, Jessica Long goes in lane three after her great swim yesterday. She was very close to that 100 freestyle world record that she holds. What can she do in the 200 IM? Hannah Russell goes in lane four, Jessica Jane Applegate in five, Claire Cashmore in six, Katie Nesbitt in seven. Colburn Stephens Dottier in eight, and Eri Ike from Japan completes the lineup in lane number nine. So, uh, where they go? We have a we have a scoreboard, we have a clock, we have swimmers, we have an event. That's uh, that's all we need then. So, uh, coming in here in five, Jessica Jane Applegate 
had that message on Twitter earlier for the UEA swimmers. Wishing them all good luck. Jessica Jane Applegate alongside Hannah Russell. And uh, the S14 swimmer it is that turns in 109.69. Second then It's a good time for Jessica Jane there. They're just at the front of the field there. It is lane number five. Jessica Jane Applegate still keeping on that pace. Look over. Great friend and rival, Hannah Russell, right next to her. Hannah Russell. And uh, Hannah Russell, you don't often see her over 200 metres individual medley. I think it's going to be a British record for Hannah Russell here because that Russell, that record even, <laughs> is held Russell by record. Melanie Stone. A Russell record. <laughs> yeah. It's a. It's a rustle for record here in the 200 metres individual medley. If you are in the venue, ignore where it says Tully Kearney in lane four of this heat. It is indeed Hannah Russell. Uh, Tully's actually on the blocks waiting to go in the next event, so we apologise for that. Uh, but here comes Applegate. That's 2.33.13. Paul's looking out for the time here in four. 2.38.48. What have we got, Paul? Yep, it is. Subject to ratification. I love when I say that. I love it too. It is a new British record for Hannah Russell. Well done, Hannah. In lane number four, Hannah Russell. Breaking that long-standing record of Melanie Eastos, which has stood since Sydney in the year 2000. So a long-standing one for Hannah Russell. It was worth it to do 200 at IM. Well done, Hannah. Excellent swim there. Go on, the... Uh Really swimming red website and read Hannah's blog, I believe, uh, from Russell with Love, I think it's called. For the James Bondy type theme. So uh, get yourself on the British Swimming website and uh, make sure for all results and live Twitter feed, you follow the uh, burning fingers of Chris. He's uh, sat by the poolside day in, day out. All the events, he'll uh, send you the latest tweets at the British Swimming Twitter page and also get yourself on to www.britishswimming.org. And you can get yourself all the information you need from there. Athlete profiles, blogs, upcoming events, even the live stream for this, don't forget. So, well done, Jessica Jane Applegate. And a very, very good swim from Hannah Russell. And uh, Paul loves a good subject to ratification. And two days running, we're getting them here in Tollcross. Yeah, well done, Hannah. Another swimmer who's been on great form recently. One of the real rising stars over the last couple of years. Made her debut at the European Championships back in 2011. Already a Paralympic and world medalist, Hannah Russell. We're still having problems with the scoreboard here in the venue. Name's not quite correct. So we may be in for a, a slight delay before we move on to the next event. We've got uh, more tweets, Paul. Gillian Hendy, Hendry, should I say, says, Good luck, Joshua, Money and Coombs in the 200. I am heat four. Uh, Ewan Wilson, good luck to Jack Sheffield. He's a popular lad, this Jack Sheffield. Paul's, uh, you're right there, Paul. He's uh, <laughs> getting excited with that record there by Hannah Russell. Huh? Right, right. Karen Stevenson says all the best to Ollie Hind. Don't forget, tweet us, hashtag BPSIM14. Keep the tweets are coming. Don't forget a selfie. Enough selfies today. We had the one from Kate earlier on. What about you guys in the crowd? If you see yourself, there you go. Sun's out, sunglasses are on. Sit by a pool watching the swimming. That lady there, look, she's texting, saying, make sure you're watching the live stream. I'm on it. Hey, yeah, that's it. You, yes, in the red. I'm on the live stream. What about these people? He's on it. He's on it. They're all on it. They're all on our live stream here on day two of the British Paris Swimming International Meet. Do you know, I could just do this bit for hours. 
literally. Uh, they're there. This uh, Union Jack t-shirt being worn at the back there. Little wave, dainty wave at the front row there. It was lovely. Ah, it's a, that's a manly wave at the front, sir. You meant that. With four, oh, that's, that's nice. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a nice wave. Oh, no. She's realised it's her. Don't face away. We're still here, look. And so are you. Yeah, that's us. Looking at you, looking away. He's hungry. So are we, mate. Who uh, keep yourself amused and entertained and, again, keep those tweets coming in. Myself, Alan Martin, Paul Noble, we've... Uh, it's not been a bad day and a half. We haven't even reached a half on day two yet. It's uh, subject to ratification zone already. Ah, no, the sun's streaming in here. It's always like this in, in Glasgow, you know. It's always sunny and, like, good weather in here. You keep telling me that. Yeah, definitely. What is, the, what is the feeling around Glasgow and Scotland for the Commonwealth coming here? I remember, remember the buzz around London uh, with the Olympics and, and now you've got the Commonwealth coming here. What is the feeling all about? Oh yeah, everyone's looking forward to it, absolutely. Things getting in place for the Commonwealth Games. You see a lot of construction still going on around Glasgow. He's excited. Yep, thumbs up. Nice. That's a, oh, that's a casual way from the man in the red there. Casual wave, there you go. A bit more energy being shown. Oh, we're drifting up to the orange seat at the back. There you go. Are you all enjoying yourself? Look at that, another casual wave there. Oh, a fist pump from the man in the blue shirt at the front there. Andrew Mullen's dad. Waving. We're just uh, waiting for... That's it. Oh, that's nice. The disguise. The programme disguise. It fools everybody. That's uh, just what the celebs do. Uh, that could be Johnny Depp, we're not sure, because uh, they've covered themselves with a programme. Uh, and programmes are available from the foyer, of course. So uh, do make sure you pick yours up today and uh, read it closely, like that lady there. Uh, event 203, heat number 8, lane 7, a disqualification during the swim. That's event 203, heat number 8, lane 7, disqualification during the swim. We'll move on because the referee's given me a thumbs up. It's heat 9. They are away for heat number nine. Hernando Santos goes in lane zero. Ilana Kravtsov in one. Bianca Pap in two. Magda Tutors goes in three. Next to her Netherlands teammate, Marlo van der Kolk. World record holder from the Netherlands, Chloe Davis in five. From Swansea University, Tully Kearney in six. Stephanie Millward in seven. Chantal Zierevelt in eight. And Ellen Keane in lane number nine. No. The centre, we've seen Bethany Firth go just a couple of heats ago. We wondered if Marlo van der Kolk would appear on the star after she missed the 50 freestyle, but she is here and she is going well in lane four. Lane five next to her British record holder, Chloe Davis, world bronze medalist. Both these swimmers in the SM14 class, so a straight fight there. Tully Kearney wasn't well yesterday. We heard she'd gone to hospital, Tully Kearney, in lane number six, but she's back in the pool. She's fighting for position here in this 200 individual medley. Power of Twitter, that was. You read it? was, it? yeah. <laughs> you keeping us up to date on Twitter? Didn't need to see it. All the best to, uh, to Harriet Lee as well. She was telling me this morning she wasn't very well after her race last night. So I uh, wish her all the best. Uh, representing City of Peterborough, but uh, swimming up Newcastle with Coach Louise. I uh, hope uh, Harriet's feeling better. The cat. She likes me to call her the cat. Oh, going. It's a long story. The cat. Hope she's feeling a bit better and uh, swimming well here. Heading down, Marlou van der Kolk. You were on about that earlier, Paul. Whether she'd swim or not, and uh, here she is, racing away in the S14 category. 
obviously saving herself for this 200 IM. It is one of her big events. She's the world record holder, the world champion, coming away there in 155.50. It's going to be a very good time for Van der Kolk. Can Chloe Davis challenge her own record, her own British record of 232.05? We saw Jessica Jane Applegate go close to that in the previous heat. But Chloe Davis now is in third place behind the two Dutch swimmers, Magda Tuters and Marlo van der Kolk. Don't think it's going to be quite as fast as Bethany Firth, but it is going to be a good time for van der Kolk. 233.07. Tutors in second and Chloe Davis in third position in that heat. Good swim from Van der Kook at the front of the field. That should be enough to get her to the final this evening. Well, you've summed that up. It should be. 954. It should be. You would drink so. <laughs> Dread to think what wouldn't allow you in to a final on a 9. 154 point score. 233.07 does it for Marlou Van der Kook. Second. In the points race goes Magda Twitters and uh, Chloe Davies, 893. So pretty short. We'll see all three of those a little bit later on. So uh, brings to a conclusion. Smiles from the lanes as they're making their way out. Some happy, some not smiling. So uh, all down. And that that well caption there, that scoreboard, not quite right there because we saw Hannah Russell swim in the previous heat. So it was, in fact, Tully Kearney who was appearing in that heat. So Tully Kearney's time, we think, 245.32. But we'll try and get confirmation of that. It wasn't Hannah Russell. It would be a good effort for Hannah Russell to swim a 245 after just doing a 238. About <laughs> Breaking a British record two minutes ago. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll correct all of that. That will all appear very nicely later on when everything is... Uh, summarized and brought to you keep checking with British Swimming website for all the information uh, we're going to move on to our next event of this morning session here on day two we've seen how the women do it it's time to see the men's 200 meters individual medley this is heat number one Three swimmers taking the start for the first heat of the men's 200 IM, Jamira Sigi and Freydan Dewan. Two swimmers from Malaysia next to the Azerbaijan swimmer, Ildar Afendaev. In event 203 of heat nine, in lane two, we have a disqualification at the turn. At event 203, heat number nine, in lane two, Disqualification at the turn. Uh, more of those tweets coming in. James Hollis, he says, cracking up with Alan March's crowd observation on the live stream. Why, oh, did I say something funny? Where is James Hollis? He's not here. Uh, I think, uh, according to Sister Emma, James is probably at home topping up his tan. Uh, she was telling me about his fake oh, tan that he's bought. Right, yeah, yeah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, probably yeah, listening yeah. to Take That as well. I know that's his favourite band. So, uh, right. James Hollis, wherever you are, listening to Take That. And uh, topping up your tan of the fake tan variety. So uh, good luck to James. You got, swimming you've got to look good, haven't you? Got to look good to swim. Yeah. Joey Essex taught me that. Well, Ream and all that. So going here towards the final turn. I'm not even sure what well, Ream means, but uh, Freyden Devan, the SM10 swimmer, heading. Towards the turn, the Malaysian, two Malaysians and a swimmer from Azerbaijan here. Elda Afandayev in lane five. He turns his second to 04.38. Jamari Seeger 
S5 category swimmer, 141.08. The uh, S5 British record, by the way, is 34.40. No, it's not. That would be very quick. Malaysian in there, Freden Dewan, the SM10 swimmer. This man who's appeared in the Commonwealth Games before, so I wonder if he's going to be here again in the summer. Not sure what his classification Well, SM10. I'm not sure if there's an SM10 race available for him in the summer, but a good swim there, 237.99, not too bad for the man who has represented Malaysia at Commonwealth Games in 2006 and 2010. He's followed home by... Eldar Afendiyev, the visually impaired swimmer from Azerbaijan, 245.12. Of course, there's just a number of events, just a handful of events at the Commonwealth Games here in the summer. The Malaysian team will be represented. I'm not sure if they'll be represented in the Paralympic swimming events. Let's see how Jamiri Siga fares here. He was a competitor in London Paralympic Games. He also went to the World Championships. Jamiri Siga from the Malaysian team coming in now. Let's watch the time and the points totals for the SM5 swimmer. 350 points for the Malaysian, just under the four-minute mark. 359.77. So uh, get yourself on the time. That lady was covering herself with the, uh, the event program. You've been uh, taking a picture of by the City of Salford Swimming Twitter page. They've posted you on their timeline. Hashtag Team Salford Parents spotted. Next event. He two, Matthew Harder in zero, Liam Walsh in one, Neil Stream in two, Dominic Ranaraja in three, Grant Taylor in four, Finlay Middleton in five, Thomas Uri in six, Lachlan Macbeth in seven, William Hardy in eight, and Dimitri Salih back in the water again, back in that outside lane. He's in the, the lane that we can't see very well in lane number nine. We're going to have to rely on the pictures on the video board there that you can see at home on the live stream. Dimitri Saleh. Looking good then in the SM12 class. Medalist, in fact, I think Dimitri Saleh, pretty sure he was a Belarusian swimmer. He's now representing Azerbaijan here at these championships. It does ring a bell. I'm honest with you, yeah, Dimitri Saleh. Oh, I'd recognise the name, and uh, here he is representing Azerbaijan. So, uh, 10286. You just jumped the memory, Paul. Thank you very much for that. It's been bugging me that. Now I know. Which is Chalet, 10286. We'll look that up later. Power of the internet. Second here. And Taylor in four, taking his turn. Chalet said a quick time in uh, heat one earlier on of the uh, 50s. Raced away to a plus 900, I think. Uh, and we'll probably see him again in that. And he's uh, going pretty well here in this IM as well. So, uh, coming slightly faster than his heats would suggest he should be. Uh, and making some turns here. We've got uh, in three, that was Dominic Raja. Turning in a 14971 down in sixth position here. 
So turning here in eighth, William Hardy. Second was Taylor, third. Sir Lachlan Macbeth. And fourth at the halfway mark was Liam Walsh as they head down. And here comes Soleil to the finish. So uh, everybody else has just made the halfway and Soleil comes in 2.18, 6 one another. Very good point score for Dimitri Soleil. 842 for the Azerbaijani swimmer. He's been peppering those big point scores, hasn't he? 24.40 earlier in the 50 freestyle. That was close to the 900 point mark. And he's back in again for this 200 IM. And that's a very impressive 218.60 for Dimitri Salate. 842 points. 218.61, sorry. Second place, oh, Grant Taylor. He's going well. As he comes into the final stages in the centre in lane number four, the SM8 swimmer. And he finishes Grant Taylor in a time of 3.11.73. And he's followed home by Lachlan Macbeth. It's a nice Scottish name for you, Alan. If you're... Uh... If you're on the live stream, or in fact, if you're here in the venue, get yourself on the live stream page on the British Swimming website. Uh, we want you, you to take part in our poll. We're looking for who was your British swimmer for day one at the International. Was it Steph Slater, John Fox, Nicole Love, or Scott Quinn? There's a poll on the live stream page. We want you to join in. Uh, get on the British Swimming live stream page. Slater, Fox, Love, or Quinn. And I tell you what, Scott Quinn, you're doing well. 33% so far. Joint 27% for Slater and Fox. Nicole Love needs your votes. Who was your favourite British swimmer on day one? Get yourself on the British Swimming website live stream page and place your vote. That brings to an end at heat number two. Referee gives the thumbs up. So we get event 204, heat number two, lane four. Uh, disqualification at start of race. Event 204, heat two, lane four. Disqualification, start of race. And that lady who was hiding behind the programme is uh, going around Twitter now. The pictures were being taken off the live stream by City of Sol Salford Swimming Club. They were uh, posting those uh, still images that they took off the live stream screen. And uh, there's no getting away now. The girl next to her laughing away. So uh, hold on to those. you two. You're making our BPSA IM14 timeline. People are loving it. Uh, Alison ha Hendry watching the live stream, supporting her cousin Joshua at Monaghan Coombs in Heat 4, which is a couple away. So we'll move on to Heat 3. So, uh, out of the race and uh, problem for Cameron Cox here in five. Makes his way out of the pool immediately, so uh, not happy. Heading down towards the turn. Always good to see a decent pair of Union Jack shorts being off, offered up and uh, one of the swimmers in the next race. Got one of those, just walked by our window at the turn. Blaze Kenny, 36.94. Tom Piggott, 38.78 and second. Third, Alexander Goodman, 38.91. Fourth, Andrew Mullen. We saw him earlier. Oh, nearly gave him a qualification time. They realised it was the, wasn't quite the right one, but uh, Mullen's back. And Paul will be observing those <laughs> QT times now. This is probably... One of his big events, Andrew Mullen. He's going well on the backstroke, isn't he? Very well. Andrew Mullen will lead them in, I think, just about in first place. Andrew Mullen, 124.45. He is the British record holder, and that's inside British record pace. The record stands at 308.64, and his qualification time is 331.99. So well inside that, Andrew Mullen 
think I might be right in saying he's on course for qualification time. Let's get it right this time, Al. Very good. Well worded. Uh, if you're at home or in the venue, let's get right behind Andrew Mullen here. It might be a heat, but uh, I'd just like to hear Paul Noble say subject to revanification, uh, as everybody else must do. And uh, we need it again. Can we get it again? Maybe. We'll just have to wait and see. Andrew Mullen heads down powerfully towards the video board end here at Toll Cross on day two of the British Parrot Swimming International Meet. As uh, hate four starts to line up, that'll be where Joshua Morning and Coombs is getting ready. He'll be in lane seven. So uh, Alison Hart, Hendry, who's watching it on the old live stream, she's uh, getting excited and ready to watch her cousin. We've got uh, Jenny Hibbs, Jack Sheffield's mum. It's Jack Sheffield's mum hiding, apparently. Pauline. There you go. The power of Twitter tells you everything. So welcome, Pauline. Hiding behind a magazine has probably made you more famous than just waving. There you go. Blaze Kenny's taking up the running now. In lane three, looks very strong, doesn't he? Blaze Kenny, wow. It's a great freestyle leg. Great second half of this race there for Blaze Kenny. And he is going to touch first in a good time. 255.30. Keep an eye on Andrew Mullen now. Arthur Morley finishing in lane number one. And Tom Piggott is coming in to finish third. But Andrew Mullen, British record just slipped by, but it is going to be a qualification time this time for Andrew Mullen. And he will be in there in a time of 310.79. So comfortably inside the qualification standard for the GB team for the European Championships. This time for Andrew Mullen. Well done, Andrew. Just a bit too soon with that qualification standard earlier, wasn't I? A little deflated, maybe. He set me up there. I was waiting for it, but uh, there's still a good swim. As you said, uh, inside the uh, Euro qualifying time, he looks pretty happy, to be honest. So no real sort of grumble from Andrew Mullen there as he climbs out. Just sort of look across at the commentary box and went, mm. so he's happy. Yeah, that's what you had to do this morning. 3.10.79, it's not a bad time at all. His record was set at the World Championships last year, 308.64, so he'll be pleased with that one. Shall we move on to Heat 4? Yeah. Heat Who's four. in this one? Joshua Mullan Coombs. Probably. Away they go, here in heat number four. All the athletes, all the lanes, and here they are. Daniel Bennett, Matthew Phillips, Joa Valinsky, Matthew Trundle, Aymeric Pamentier, Lewis Edwards, Malti Braunschweig, Joshua Mullingham Coombs, Jack Sheffield, and Matthew Rishworth. I think Mullingham Coombs and Jack Sheffield have probably been the most uh, pre prolifically tweeted about. If I've worded that correctly. Or Jack Sheffield's mum, maybe. Pauline. Pauline, we believe. And the uh, city of Salford sending us the message. Jack Sheffield in heat for the 200 IM. We've got one from John Bailey. He says, please give a big shout out to Jack Sheffield. Used to coach him. There you go. So well done, John Bailey. Uh, hashtag BPSIM14 if you want yours read out. Harris says, keeping track of the BPS IM14 and seeing former friends and teammates making, more, making me more determined than ever to get back in the water. Do it, Harris, do it. Ewan Wilson says, come on, Will. City of Salford are thanking us for our great coverage. And says, John Bailey should learn from me. Not sure what. There you go. We're we started a bit of a Twitter war. Let's go back to the pool instead. Uh, Amrik Pementia, 109.75. Pementia leading away 
from Lewis Edwards, 128.9. Edwards coming for Caffilly. Third position. I'll take Braunschweig, 23.42. And Parmentier are going really well at the front there. His entry time with three minutes dead, and he's going to be well inside that. The SM14 swimmer. Going to be a great swim there. Lewis Edwards in five. Parmentier slowed down slightly. As he comes into the final, it's been a good swim though, an excellent swim in fact, 234.24. That was a 26 second improvement there for Parmentia. And he's followed home by Lewis Edwards, the SM8 swimmer. Uh, in next. More of those tweets, apparently he's actually over just 12 years of age, it's his first major competition, so uh, apparently he's uh, been fairly nervous, but he needn't be. He's in good company, and he's coming home very strongly here in eight. Uh, and he takes his touch, 302-32, Jack Sheffield. First major competition. There you go, racing against some very talented swimmers. Uh, 632 for Emric Parmentier. Should just take heat number four. In event 204, in heat three, in lane seven, there is a disqualification start of stroke. Just one one hundred of a second separating Jack Sheffield and Joshua Monaghan Coombs at the end there. Two swimmers that uh, been tweeting in, or their families and supporters been tweeting in, separated by the smallest of margins there at the end. Highest points total so was Parmentia. Next to Daniel Bennett and Joe Valinsky, actually the second top. Move on to heat. Number five. E number five sees Benjamin Fulston in zero, Joseph Siege in one, Jackson Simmons in two, Craig McNeil in three, Tim Van Duren in lane four, Chantel Bunacker will be looking out for him, Callum Pearson in five, Oliver Carter in six, Lewis White in seven, Ivan Salguero Atesa in eight, and Michael Jones in lane number nine. is the centre lanes are leading at the moment as you might have expected in these uh, time seeded events but it's not always the case Tim Van Duren and Callum Pearson in 4 and 5 it looks like Callum Pearson has just got the edge ahead of the Dutch swimmer Interesting uh, tweet here for you, Paul. You'll, uh, you'll know this man very well. And so to you, Kate, who's in the room. Dave Roberts has just tweeted in. Uh, good luck to all swimming at BPSIM 14. Makes me realise I miss it so much. Time to get back in, maybe. One more try. Hashtag, dr hashtag dream big. Bit of breaking news there, we feel. It was Thank indeed. You. Thank Blimey. you very much. Dave uh, Roberts, yeah. oh well. Be good to see you, Dave. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Good luck to all swimmers at the BPI SIM 14. So firstly, 
Thank you very much to Dave Roberts for that. And then he says, makes him realise he's missing it. Maybe time for him to get back in. Well, multiple British record holder. Uh, Still the world record holder, Dave Roberts, in a couple of events. No one's quite managed to challenge his world record yet. They're getting ever closer, though. But Dave Roberts still holds them. Kate just shouting out, 11-time Paralympic medalist. Oh, gold, gold medalist. Medalist, nonetheless. Sorry, guys. All right. Calm it down a bit. Uh, going well here in four. Tim Van Duren saw him plenty yesterday. Uh, disqualification, event 204, heat number four, lane number seven at the turn. Disqualification in 204, heat four, lane seven at the turn. Uh, going well. Tim Van Duren, 627 points posted here in the 200 metres individual medley. In heat five, 23609, 548, 24322 for Lewis White as we see the rest of these times come in. That's a good time for Van Duren there. 244 is entry time. He's managed to improve that to 236. So big improvement there, eight seconds almost for the young man from the Netherlands. We'll try and keep an eye on some of the times here. We have got qualification times to look for for the GB team for the European Championships later this year. That will take place in the Netherlands. And we know that some of the other countries are using this as part of their trials process as well. The Spanish team were telling me the other day that they were using this as... Uh, Kind of a top-up event for their team. So other countries also looking for qualification standards as well as the GB team. Do you speak Spanish, Paul? Do you speak Spanish? Uh, no. Okay. Heat number six. Robert Schmidtke, Gareth Orr, Sasha Kindred, Jonathan Booth, Wei Tai, uh, Masami Oda, Craig Moat, Craig McLean, Bastian Fontaine, and Andreas Ungnia. Germany, Singapore, Japan, Austria, City of Hereford. All international, global field. Indeed. Yeah, you can't get uh, more. Divergence on that one. Let's see what Sasha Kindra can do this time. What a good 50 freestyle he had earlier. Gave him a mention yesterday, Anne Nairi. His wife, oh, not here at these trials, but the Kindreds have been mainstays of the GB team for a long time. Said yesterday, Sasha Kindra made his international debut back in 1994, so 20 years at the top for Sasha Kindra. Still, World champion, the European and British record holder, a time of 241.50. Sasha Kindred is the lowest classification in this particular heat, so expect him to be at the back of the field, but we'll see how he gets on when he compare his time to the world record for his class, which is held by Ching Chu from China, 238.62. That's around 37, 38 now, 37? He's still 37. So. Born in 77, I think. Spring, so. spring chicken compared to yeah. a couple of the 57-year-olds we've got here. So uh, six-time Paragold medal winner. And uh, all-round nice guy as well. Uh, is Sash Kindred. And, uh, racing here in five. Masami Oda, 
7-1 at the last turn. Don't forget, we want your votes uh, on the British Swimming live stream page. We need your vote. Who was the best British swimmer of the day for day one here at the International? It's going well for Scott Quinn. 35% of the votes so far. Level pegging for Steph Slater and John Fox. Nicole Love just in behind them. So keep your votes coming. Here comes the touch in five from Sami Oda. 6.09. Time of 236.20. Bastian Fontaine also going well, 239.42. Let's have a look at Sasha Kindred's time here as he comes in there. Sasha Kindred, 249.86 for Sasha Kindred. And that is 814 points. He will be the top points earner. And Sasha Kindred again. We saw him make a qualification standard earlier in the 50 freestyle. He's followed that up in his number one event, the 200 IM, another qualification standard for Sasha Kindred. Now, uh, sometimes people think the commentators know everything uh, and how to say everybody's name. Uh, one of the ones that myself and Paul sometimes question is, is the Livesey name. Livesey, Livesey. Uh, well, we've got Theo Livesey or Livesey tweeting into us, uh, rooting for their boy Oscar, also known as Bossfish. Uh, so shout out to Bossfish. Help us out, Theo. Livesey or Livesey? Uh, we're not sure how you're going to phonetically tell us that, but uh, there you go. We'll, uh, we'll let you let us know if you wouldn't mind. Moving on, it's eight six. In fact, no, it's not. It's eight seven. So we, uh, we were remarking on Sasha Kindred's age uh, during the race. Apologies, Nairi Kindred, his wife, he's watching on the live stream. She says, uh, hello, Mark, stop aging my husband. He's only 36. Apologies, he says 37 here in front of us. So uh, have a word. But 36-year-old uh, Nairi points out to us. Uh, Jay, he's not going to make the youth final tonight, is he? Ah, oh, gutting. Gutting. But here they go, down towards the video board here. Good swim. Sasha Kindred, who's 36, according to Nairi. And uh, we're still waiting for the answer on Oscar Livesy, Livesy. Uh, and he's uh, turning in first. So uh, the boss fish, as uh, Theo calls him, doing well. Turning in a time of 30.02. So we await an answer on that one. A few swimmers walking by us, including Dan Pepper. No, it's Dan Pepper. He's got a big jump that says Dan. And a swim cap that says Pepper. So we'll use that as a, a guidance. In the backstroke leg, underneath the flags, they come here. In four, it is the man they call Oscar Bossfish Livesy, turning in a time of 1.10.234. He's going very well, the man in the centre lane, in lane four. We'll line up in this one, Fraser Kane in lane one. In lane two, the Greek swimmer, Dimitri Michelentzakis. Miguel Sanchez Mateo in three. Oscar Livesey, Livesey, Bossfish, goes in four. Jose Cantero, Elvira in five. Kieran Neary in six, Adam Melville in seven. Jamie Warner in eight, and Matthew Gibson in lane number nine. SM Tenswich, showing no signs of being caught here. He's extending his lead here. A very good swim, this. Look, keep your eyes feel for time as they come in here, Paul, but... Uh... Bossfish is en route towards the finish. Well, uh, certainly, unless miraculously caught here in his final 25, although going very strongly, I have to say, here in five, is Jose Cantero Elvira. Yes, 12 summer, but uh, Oscar Bossfish Livesy. 157. Uh, 15377 at that turn. Here he comes in to take a touch. He's going to be under 230 here. 229.42. And uh, Oscar, or L as we'll now call him, Oscar comes in. 659 points for him. And then a melee of swimmers in 6, 7, 8, 9, all coming in at about the same sort of time, all within two seconds of each other. In fact, exactly within two seconds of each other. Neary, 
followed in by Melville, then Gibson and Warriner. So a very frantic finish in the outside lanes nearest to us as they came home. But uh, the official result being displayed on the scoreboard here in the venue, and it is Oscar, Boss Fish, Livesy, or Livesy. We'll wait for Theo on Twitter to tell us the exact pronunciation. But 6.59 for the S10 swimmer. Uh, a couple of swimmers just having a lean on the lane rope in two and three. Just being signalled to make their way out so we can move on to heat number eight. Away they go, Matt Walker tweeting into us. Uh, good swim this morning, 28.55. Not bad for a 35-year-old. Hashtag BPSIM14. Seems age is, uh, is a big subject this morning. <laughs> We've opened up a can of worms. That's younger than Sasha Kindred, isn't it? A lot younger. A lot younger. At least a year. As they race down. Going to touch here. Underneath the video board in five, Tamas Soares, 28.97. Gone off very quickly here, Paul. The 100 butterfly champion in the S9 class, champion in London. No surprise that he's out quick, the Hungarian. First broke the world record at this championship, so I think, yeah, when it was held at Sheffield. So a man well used to coming to the UK for competition. Been caught on the backstroke, though. Tamas Soares now being caught by the SM14 swimmer. Man Tong Chan and also in lane number nine, Takayuke Tsukawa. He's coming through into first place actually. Tsukawa in the outside lane, second place, Man Tong Chan. Tamasaur's down into third now. Dan Pepper not really showing in the early stages there in the centre lane. Tsukawa leading. Man Tong Chan. Tamasaur's, which gives you that real international feel as they come into the breaststroke leg pepper is a motoring 11077 he's gone from eighth i think just by our vantage point it's taking him around about 40 meters to go to first that is a, a wonderful turnaround he might just be pegged for second here as they come towards the turn uh, here it is and it is sagawa holding him off in lane nine Second was Pepper at that turn, 149.97. Third, Man Tung Chan. The S14 swimmers leading the way here as they come back towards the finish. And Pepper fighting it out with Takuya, or Takuya Tsukawa. It's going to be Tsukawa, I think. It's going to take this one just about getting ahead of Dan Pepper. And 2.21 to Tsukawa. It's a very good time there. Pepper slightly off his best at 223.87 for 779 points. Should earn him a place in one of the finals this evening. But Israel Oliver, that's a good swim from the SM11 swimmer from Spain. 866 points for Israel Oliver and that time of 229.39 for the Spaniard. Highest ranked S11 swimmer in this event. Uh, fourth place at the Paralympics in a 227.79. His entry time is 225.90. Uh, so he's inside his entry time as well there, Paul. Uh, 866 points. And again, uh, some of these heats this morning throwing up some very quick times. There's only uh, one swimmer here outside of 700. Yeah, high quality as we move into these later heats. A lot of the SM14 swimmers there doing very well. Tsugawa and Dan Pepper were very close at the end. Dan Pepper left himself a lot to do there at halfway, but he pulled through on the breaststroke leg as he traditionally does. Couldn't quite catch the Japanese swimmer in the outside lane. But the points totals yet to be confirmed. 
But at the moment, as it stands on our scoreboard, 866 points. Israel Oliver is the top points earner. We're ready now to move on to the next heat, heat number nine. So we uh, go away here in heat nine. Thank you to Theo Livesey, who's explained how we do it. So it's Oscar Livesey. He says it's, uh, it's Livesey. So not lively like Kate Gray. It's live like Liverpool. So there you go. He's used liver as his explanation, but we've gone for Liverpool. But uh, Livesey it is, and that will be or boss fish. And uh, Theo says our boss fish did good. He did. He certainly didn't. Thank you to you as well. He says, does that help, gents? Don't call us gents. <laughs> gives me a complex. Oh. Just gives me a complex. Somebody calls me a gentleman. Nice to see James Crisp this morning. Morning. How are you? He says he's all right. He walks by our window. He's sort of relaxed, wasn't he? Very relaxed. So to oh. Ollie Hind, who's giggling away to himself behind. So he thought he'd got away with it. But uh, They've done it all before, these guys, oh, haven't they? Yeah. Like veterans. Yeah. Youngsters as well. They're not as old as Sasha Kindred, but... Uh, you are not getting an invite to Nairi Kindred's house anytime soon, Paul Noble, I can tell you that. Uh, away they go here then in uh, 100 gone. 100 to go. And Craig Harris in seven. 104.86. This is a flat-out race as well, Paul. They're all S14 swimmers, so uh, no need for the points to separate them. We'll know who's won this one at the touch. So, uh, Harris. Second is Thomas. Third, Sun Sang Lee. I'm off to talk to Kate Gray. Thanks, Alan. I'll take this one then, shall I? Good one, Craig Harris there. He is going very well in first place. 145.73. Only two tenths of a second. Two one hundredths of a second separating him from Jack Thomas in lane three. Sun Sang Lee in four. And watch out for John Margiers Ferrison there, the champion in 200 freestyle, but he's well off the pace at the minute. I thought I got in trouble, Paul. I heard this noise go, <gasps> I thought I'd said something. I thought, no, I can't have done it. It's Kate Gray. I no, just yawned, sorry. <laughs> Charming. We're keeping you up, love. In <laughs> lane three, Jack Thomas. We said it was a flat out race, and 878 points takes it in a time of 218.22 for Jack Thomas. I'm scratching for the times here because 218.22 is inside the British record mark held by Dan Pepper. So a new British record subject to ratification for Jack Thomas. Well done, Jack. Look at these qualifying times now. Jack Thomas, 218.22. That's inside the qualifying time, and I can tell you, Craig Harris, with that 219.46, also inside the qualifying standard, Craig Harris fist pumps as he gets out of the pool. He is delighted. One or two happy swimmers here this, uh, this morning, and, uh, and we, we get another subject of ratification from Paul, so that's lovely. That's what we like to see. And uh, very happy, smiley swimmers, Thomas Harris. Big points. Big race. We'll move on to our next heat. Final heat, heat 10, Ryan Nichols, Irioko Camel, 
Wailong Tang, James Chris, Mark Avers, Ben Proctor, Ahura Harazawa, Scott Quinn, Oli Hind, and Sunichi Hirota. In event 204, heat number eight, lane number seven, disqualification at the turn, that's 204, heat eight, lane seven, disqualification at the turn. We saw Jack Thomas there set that British record. Craig Harris followed him home. There is only two places available for the A standard times for the World Championships. Two places guaranteed. We might get a third place too. But uh, you've got to be trying in the top two qualifiers. So Craig Harris's time is the target for the likes of Ben Proctor in lane number five. The world bronze medalist in this event. And the world gold medalist is ahead of him at the minute. That's Mark Avers from the Netherlands. 102.41 at the halfway mark. Now Avers who uh, topped the medal podium in last year's event. At 1,115 points by, uh, by the records on the website. So... Uh, Give a monster swim, 2.13.19 by all accounts, uh, which is slightly faster than his entry time on this, the world champion. So, uh, Avers, S14 swimmer leading the way here. Ollie Hind, 106.87, the uh, European record holder. And uh, he goes here in lane eight, the uh, only S8 swimmer. The only S9 swimmer in this one is James Crisp. James is the British record holder. And then we've got in the S10 category, Kahuru Harazawa, who just seems to get quicker and quicker, Paul, every time we see him in a meet. A great 200 metres individual medley swimmer. Slightly disappointing in the breaststroke yesterday, but Mark Avers coming in now, 2.14.49, and that looked easy at the end there for Mark Avers. In lane six, there it is, Harazawa, 220.89 for Kahuru Harazawa. And that is an excellent time for Harazawa. And I can tell you, it's not inside the A standard, but it is inside the B standard for Kahuru Harazawa. So he, big smile on his face there. He is inside the B standard for the European Championship team for Great Britain. 228.30 uh, from... Uh, Ollie Hind gives him 858 points and Paul you're just checking the times for qualification for Ollie Hind as well and it is it is indeed a qualification standard for Ollie Hind 228.64 was the target he's dipped three tenths of a second underneath that so another qualification time for Ollie Hind well done Ollie 228.30 that will be an A qualifying time for the Paralympic champion. Well, as the sun comes through the uh, the glass roof here at Tollcross, it just seems to be shining on this near side of the pool where the swimmers are getting out, and they're all getting out with smiley faces because Paul Noble keeps telling them they've got their qualification times. It's great to hear. It's been great to see. And uh, as you can see on the board, Mark Evers, 953 points. It'll be difficult to beat in that final we're going to move on, though, to our next event, which is the 150 metres individual medleys. First up, the women, heat one of one.
one and only heat of the women's 150 metres individual medley, an event unique to the Paralympic programme. Three lengths of the pool, one length backstroke, one length breaststroke, and one length freestyle. So Pin is our Pinchu Yip. Yip goes in, in lane three. Is that all right? Pinchu Yip in lane three. Lisette Tonison in four. Danielle Bailey goes in five. In unison there almost. Do you yip? Oh, Toynison, not unison. Singaporean swimmer in three is the SM3 classification. The other two, Toynison and Bailey in the SM4 class. Toynison. Gold medalist at the major championships. He is chasing European and world record, which is held by Karina Laudrison of Denmark. It's going to be a tough ask for Lizette Tonison to be able to challenge that mark. It's very fast, 247.84. Tonison leads at the moment, 54.35, a big lead over Pinju Jip, 102.56 in second. And Daniel Bailey, a further 20 seconds behind in third position. Tonison uh, picked up a bronze medal here in this event, last year's championships from a 314.48 world silver medalist by uh, by Irina Kormagorova in a 312.10. The Russian winning that one and putting Tonison into the silver medal position in a 316.38. So uh, good world's final. As Paul was saying, that uh, world record. Standing Beijing. British record goes back to, uh, I make it, 1999. It's party like it's 1999. <laughs> did you do that, Paul? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I didn't do the record, but that was Maggie McElhenney who did the record. I was 18 in 99. What were you? Oh, yeah, I was a couple of months older than that. <laughs> 99. Yeah, Sasha Kindred was... About, yeah, yeah, about 32 at that point. Right. Maggie McElhenney was the uh, record holder. She's a local swimmer. She might make an appearance. Bring Maggie to uh, present some medals for this 150 IM tonight. I'll give her a shout. Seems reasonable. Yeah. Just down the road in Greenock. Maggie McElhenney, she'll probably be watching, hopefully. Just down the road? Yeah, not too far. Through 25 metres to go then. Here in lane four, Lisette Tonneson. 314.48, last year's final of this one. Entry time, 310.70. Daniel Bailey going here in five. So I'm a 433.73 uh, in the final last year. Uh, entry time, 429.73. And uh, pins you, yep. Entry time 4.50.00. Uh, Toynison's time here, 3.28.73. And you, yep, the world record for an S3 swimmer is 3.25.07, uh, held by Olga Sviderska. That was set in Montreal. Uh, of course, a European record and world record. And uh, you, yep, just making the turn here at the 100 metre mark. So Bailey inside the final 15. Give her some support as she heads towards home. And you yip turning in 405.23. Daniel Bailey's entry time of 429.73. It's got to be under threat here. Could be another good swim here from Daniel Bailey. Saw her winning medal last night in the breaststroke, and it is a good time. 423.65. Excellent time there for Danielle Bailey. Some six seconds inside her entry time. Well done, Danielle. Another good swim. Another good improvement for Danielle Bailey from Harrogate. From Singapore. 21 year old. I'm down aging now from our piece of paper. So I don't upset anybody else's other halves. Pinju Yip, 21 in our program from Singapore. Uh, entry time, as we said, 4.50 flat. That's, uh, that's gone by. So, uh, Pinju Yip coming up towards the 15-metre 
red marker you see in your pool here in lane three here at Toll Cross. Toynison finishing 328 7 3 at 520 points. Danielle Bailey finishing on a 423 6 5. Uh, give her 258 points and uh, Pinju Yip here, Paul, just coming up to the five metre marker. Pinju Yip, Paralympic gold medalist in Beijing in the 50 backstroke. She is going over the longer distance today and keeping that pace going 540.54 for Pinju Yip. I remember when she won that gold medal the night she won that gold medal in Beijing. Just coming out into the corridor after she'd been presented with that medal and a throng of Singaporean fans around her. There was dozens of people around Pinjujip admiring that gold medal swim. It was one of the first gold medals that Singapore had won in the Paralympic swimming events. Probably the first, actually. I can't remember another one. But it was a great event for the Singaporean fans there in Beijing. They were out in force that night, definitely. If you can't remember it, it never happened. That's, that's the theory I work from. Uh, that's why you are the one and only Paul Noble. Uh, Daniel Bailey leaves the pool after her swim. Lisette Toynison comes out the same side as well. Pings you yip, climbing out onto the far side. So, uh, well done to the ladies taking part in the women's 150 metre individual medley. We'll move on to the men's 150 metre individual medley. Heat one of one. This is the one and only heat of this one, the men's 150 metres individual medley, all SM4 swimmers with the exception of Curtis Lovejoy in lane number seven. We have Quinton Harris in two, Miguel Luque in three, Takayuki Suzuki in four, Michael Schoenmacher in five, Lyndon Longhorn in lane six, and Curtis Lovejoy, as I said, completes the lineup in lane number seven. Taught me a new phrase this week. What will Lovejoy do? Apparently a banner at a, uh, an event you were at many moons ago. Oh, I think it was Sydney, I think, in 2000. Big banner for Curtis Lovejoy. It was, what's Lovejoy going to do? That's what we all asked <laughs> ourselves. He did very well in Sydney. He won two gold medals. Still going today. Done very well all the way throughout his career. Is uh, this is Lovejoy. Curtis is the world record holder in the SM2 class. Set that back in 2003. Time of 420.59. Cameron Leslie from New Zealand, the world record holder in this SM4 class. And great Spaniard, Javi Torres, who was tweeting yesterday. So I think Javi Torres was watching the live stream yesterday. He's still the European record holder. Lyndon Longhorn, the British record holder, he goes in lane number six. But the three men who are going to be favourites for this one, Miguel Luque, Tagayuki Suzuki and Michael Schoenmacher, they should fight it out at the front of the field. And it looks like Suzuki with that slender lead there, 152.18. Luque some three seconds behind and Schoenmacher in third position there, two minutes, 0.53. Schoenmacher, uh, DQ in the final of the, of the British International Meet last year. We uh, eager to put that right. 
Well, Luki, fifth in the world, seventh at the uh, Paralympics, uh, 248.53, slightly slower at the world. Lyndon Longhorn taking silver uh, last year here. As they come into the finish, uh, Paul is looking at Lyndon's British record. The winning time is uh, Suzuki's 246.70. Longhorn comes in 257.74. What have you got for us, Paul? Looks like that that is inside the British record, Mark. The record standing at 3 minutes.48. So, subject to ratification, a new British record there for Lyndon Longhorn in lane number six. Well done, Lyndon. A few rounds of applause and some fist pumps coming from the crowd and a, a round of applause from the back rows of the, uh, the press tribune. So uh, well done there. So well done, Lyndon Longhorn. Good swim here. And that's just the heat swim. 554 points. Uh, Curtis Lovejoy will finish us off here as he comes up after his turn here in lane number seven. 327.6 for Lovejoy. And Longhorn, the cap came straight off. And... Uh, Good old character is Lyndon. Did a, an interview with him last year. And he just laughed his way through it. He's a likeable guy. And uh, he and John Fox did a bit of a quiz for me. And they were laughing their way through it. But uh, Longhorn, new record, subject to ratification, as Paul says. He says it much better than me, which is why we let him say it. But uh, Suzuki, 246.70, 672 points wise. 611 for Sean Macker, just in front of Mikol Luque. Quentin Harris came in on 4.09, 2.02 for him. Well done to Quentin Harris. And here comes Curtis Lovejoy. And this will be some good points. This is not a bad swim at all. Here comes a touch. 853, 4.34.82. Good swim from Curtis Lovejoy. Remember, he has to get as near to his own world record. 853. Later on, gentlemen, that's the challenge. Well, that result is just confirmed on the scoreboard. You'll see the Curtis Lovejoy there, the biggest points in our 853 points that was an excellent swim to finish this morning session on and Lyndon Longhorn great swim there new British record for Lyndon ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining as we finish the session on a very big score of 853 from Curtis Lovejoy and a British record being broken by Lyndon Longhorn thank you for joining us in the heat session of day two of the British Paris Swimming International meet whether you're here inside the venue in Tollcross in Glasgow or whether you are watching on the live stream we'll all be back later on we hope you do the live stream starts around about five to five make sure you tune in officials you may leave the poolside